go-to resource for all beginning pilot information and today I am here to answer a question which is how many days a week should I squat um well since the website is focused the blog is focused towards geared towards strength so it makes more sense to um, answer that question in regards to strength so if your goal is if your goal is to grow like stronger I would suggest I, I mean personally I see I squat once a week I work on legs once a week because the muscle group is so huge. I do all movements once a week. I only go to the gym three to four times a week. Um, if your goal is hypertrophy, you can spend at least at research shows, not me, because I don't care about growth. Um, one to three days in the gym working on that specific muscle group, and you're not doing heavy movements, so, I mean, you can do that, right? So, yeah, there are a few things that go into play when you're... um. Really, two things that go into play when you're coming to play when you're doing when you focus on anything really it's fatigue and it's recovery. So, first question is, um, how like how easily does it take how much or how quickly can you recover? Me personally, I don't recover, it takes me for any movement, it takes especially. I think my hands are covering this mic, but for legs, especially, it takes me about um let's say three days for my legs to recover and that's just for leg for squats and deadlifts so i don't and i squat heavy so i mean i don't it doesn't make sense to keep it doesn't make sense for me to go to the gym more often than that to work on that specific uh movement now if you find that you can recover every two days and you really want to focus on your legs and go to the go squat every day if you want to just add a little muscle every day or add a little like i know people who said there's a guy his name gary konevsky he said he squatted or he does something with he doesn't squat but he does something with legs every single day he did like leg extensions whatever every single day he was a bodybuilder he ate a bunch of calories he got a bunch of sleep so it makes sense for him dude's like 300 pounds so it makes sense for him right me personally i don't eat as much i don't sleep very often so it's like hey you can't do this my body doesn't respond to that movement the way that or to respond to that amount of work the way his body does your body may not respond to that amount of work the way uh his body does or my body does either now again like i said this is all coming from physicians research like website respected websites you can look at the resources at the bottom of the post or the page um i'll link out to the post in the description um that's pretty much it really what's your ability what's your body's ability to recover if your body's recovering every two days go for it if you want to do that if you think that's going to benefit your goals or help you get towards your goals just go for it and that's not my opinion like i said internet um yeah now you can tell when your body's not recovering if you have these few fatigue or these few uh symptoms me personally i got a couple of these because i knew this how i knew my my central nervous system like it, i just wasn't recovering when you have a headache constantly you have muscle tension which is kind of normal if you're not stretching um chest pain this is these are examples of um excess like cycle excess stress that work and ex lack of exercise recovery can do have on your body uh, so chest pains fatigue change in sex drive and insomnia if you're staying up all night that can be either due to caffeine i don't know exactly i'm not a doctor but i know i was getting insomnia from lack of caffeine or from or ex too much caffeine and i was working out too much six days a week seven days a week wasn't wasn't very good um and then just make sure like understand the change doesn't happen in the gym i understand you want huge legs but it's not going to happen in a week it's not going to happen in a year it's not going to happen in two years it's going to take time muscle uh compounds the, the 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 look of your muscle compounds over the years i think it's it's a scientifically proven fact and i i can uh redo more research on this but it's a scientifically proven fact that it takes about most people be hearing a pound to a pound and a half or two pounds of lean body mass a year a month now, over time, that'll look amazing, but a pound is not going to look like anything in one month. It's just going to look like you're normal. You're probably going to get leaner because you're losing weight because you're working out, but you're not going to look huge. Your legs aren't going to look huge. In fact, you can hurt yourself if you're doing that on a regular basis, but that's you. Um, so make sure you understand change that's happening in the gym so your muscles repair themselves while they're resting and they use the nutrients, proteins, etc. that we take in during the day or after our workouts to repair our, the micro tears that our muscles take on. I understand that. If you're not giving your body any time to repair, you're not going to see any gains. That's what's happening to me currently because I'm not getting any sleep and I have to adjust my workout routine to uh, uh, make up for that or to take that to take that into consideration. 
Um, also want to understand that these muscles, like our legs are a huge muscle group. Constantly working those muscles out like was it's definitely gonna have an adverse effect on your health and how like you feel like it's just it's going to it's not like the arms where it's like the arms when you're benching or whatever it's like it's a smaller muscle group so you're not really you see i'm sorry for you. i'm sorry i just kind of took a nap uh but yeah if you're using these muscles you're gonna like it's not gonna how do i put this like if you're benching you're not gonna you're not gonna be as fatigued the next day as you would be as if you're squatting i understand it's from personal experience and from research so so yeah just take that into consideration when you're trying to work out five days a week on your legs and yeah my best advice would be to start with one day and then work from there to see how you recover and then continue to adjust because that's what it is anyway you're gonna have to adjust your routine anyway so just i'll start small and work my way up um that's pretty much it if you like this video like and subscribe to the channel i'll be continuing to produce videos like this in the future and yeah thanks for watching